assalamu alaikum friends in this video we shall see the fundamentals of cost statement accounting which every sap financial professional needs to know so let's start so the cost element accounting is a module in controlling uh, <coughs> application in sap and its origin is basically from sap erp ecc component uh, enterprise core components that is it is not a module in the newer version which is sap s Hana, it was basically a separate module in the earlier version of sap so in the new version and there is no such module but still the sap maintains this uh, vocabulary this terminology for the sake of compatibility regions and uh, the vocabulary which uh, the sap experts are already used to they are still using uh, this vocabulary the second important thing you should know is about uh, what is actually cost element accounting so basically in the earlier version of sap the data for the sap financial accounting was separate from the data of sap controlling so there were di different modules sub modules in the financial accounting gl account receivable account payable there, there were different sub modules in the cost controlling and cost element accounting was basically one of the module uh, in controlling which actually connects the data of the financial accounting to the data of the controlling module what does it mean it means that the data of financial accounting module flows to the data of the controlling module which were two separate logical places for the data repositories and this was actually made through the cost limit accounting so this was the first module through which the data is imported into the controlling module from the financial accounting module so as such one of the purpose of this module was to make sure that the two data sets are actually reconciled because in the controlling module the data is further processed the data is further changed so there was a need that the totals in the financial accounting is the same as the totals in the controlling module so one of the purpose of the cost domain accounting was that it was serving as a as a door of data entry to the controlling module and also it was serving the purpose of reconciliation between the two sets of data as such uh, if we go further deep uh, we should know that what data actually was passing on from the financial accounting to the controlling so it was only the expense accounts and the revenue accounts we already know that in the financial accounting module we have some asset accounts we have some liability accounts and we have some owner executive account as well like retained earnings and capital and then we have expense and revenue accounts but the only data which passes on to the controlling module was actually the expense accounts and the revenue accounts not the asset liability owner equity accounts so the expense account when they are imported into the controlling they were known as the cost elements and when the revenue accounts they were imported into controlling they were known as the revenue elements right so since there were two different sets of data so therefore there were two different terms so a rent expense can be an expense account when it is there in the financial accounting module it was an uh, cost element when it was uh, talked about discussed in the controlling module moving forward when we come on to SAP S4 HANA, there were some basic uh, structural changes took place. Number one, the controlling data set as a separate data set was no longer there. Rather, we have a combined data set of now, which is FI and CO data. So there was no need of cost limit accounting as such, but despite this, that there's no need of cost limit accounting, since functionally the accounting modules are different from the costing modules, therefore the segregation of the application is still there so we have some uh, financial accounting module which retrieve the data from this FICO data set we have some controlling modules which retrieve the data from FICO data set so the, logically the data set is now the same so there is no need of cost element accounting because it was actually serving the purpose of bridging the two data sets so there is no need of it However, there is no need of reconciliation as well, but still the cost element uh, accounting is still there in the easy access menu in the Fury apps and it is now only serving the purpose of uh, the legacy compatibility. That is the uh, uh, vocabulary which SAP used in its earlier version. It is still using in its uh, uh, the combined version, although logically there is no need for this. For example, the cost element is now same as a GL account and expense account, but SAP still use the terms like cost limit category and things like that, uh, which it used in the earlier version just to make it compatible uh, with its prior versions.